Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of Poker Cheese, and today is gonna be a special one because we are featuring the new Trevenant and Dusknaught Tag Team GX. This card is a whopper, it's very cool. I'm very happy to see a Dusknaught GX card all together. And it's, let's just jump straight in. It's got an awesome attack for three psychic energy called Nightwatch. There's 150 damage, which by itself, two hits most tag team Pokemon. Like it does all of them, unless you've got like a Whale Lord tag team GX with, what are those boots called? Anyway, you get the point. It two hits pretty much everything. And then it even one hits Mew 3, which is really a big bonus. So what does it do? You choose two random cards from your opponent's hand and you reveal them. So you get to get a look at them and you send them back into the deck. This is great disruption. And we've also got Pale Moon GX, which is a really cool effect. You know, for two energy, you basically knock out the enemy's uh, active Pokemon on the following turn, the end of the opponent's turn. So if they retreat or do a switch, then obviously it fails. If you've got one extra energy on it though, which you will when you're using Night Watch, you remove their energies altogether from the active Pokemon. So it makes it harder for them to retreat, so they have to switch. And then if you do that to something like a Reshiram and Charizard Tag Team GX, well, you're going to end up, you know, saying, oh, are they going to keep the energy that they're going to attack? Are they going to, what are they going to do? Because they're probably going to lose their main attacker if they keep attacking with it. So this is a good disruption card. So we're focusing the deck around them and we're using the Malamar version variant of this deck. I really do enjoy it because you can just keep swapping around. If you have troubles, like your first status condition decks, we don't have any, uh, like, Herbal Medicine, what are the mixed herbs, but we can swap with like Latios GX. This is a great tech, guys. I think it should be in every Mali deck as a tech. Tag Purge is just so strong and it's got a free retreat as a GX Pokemon. So that's really good. And then we put some techs in here like Girafrig, Girafarig. Please tell me how you pronounce this card, but it's just in there for the Mew 3, so we can get those cards lost. There is a game in here, I'm with a little bit of a spoiler, but this was so critical and it was prized. And power plants, guys, don't throw them away. You need them in this meta. There's just too many Mew3s, there's too many Keldeos. And yeah, so you get the gist of this deck, Mallys with Dusknaw. Now, look at the rest of the cards. We're just getting ready to discard them. We're discarding our Psychic Energies with uh, Acrobike or with Hapus. And when we can, we're gonna use Jesse and James in conjunction with Dusknaw to make their four card hands become a zero card hand. We also added in a few nice touches. With Obviously, we're gonna have Jirachis in the active when we can, when we're using Malamas to pump those psychic energies onto Dusknor and Trevenant GX or Espeon Deoxys, yada yada. But that's why we have escape boards here. But we also have Ear Ringing Bell, just in case we reverse some a few annoying attackers that are just to delay them a little bit more because some people like, say for example, Latios GX who have Tag Purge need to three hit us pretty much because the great thing about this card is it's not weak to psychic, it's weak to dark. So we can increase that delay more by having ear ringing bell potentially. Also, if we're versing something like uh, like a Picarom who's gonna use their uh, GX move, it does 200 damage, so we can have like a giant bomb. He has to face this giant bomb and he's gonna take 100 damage which will put him into knockout range with our Night Watch move. So we've got a little playability there. Something that something little extra that Jirachi and Bill's analysis can search for. So guys, that is the deck list. It will be in the description below, and we're gonna take a look at the next four games. So if you guys have any suggestions that you wanna see, like a different variation of, of this deck, please do let me know below in the comments. And if you like the video, hit a like, and maybe subscribe too. All right, onto the games. All right, everyone, welcome to the game. So here we are, we're doing the Mali version of Trey Noir. That's Trevenant and Dusknoir. I don't know how to pronounce it, so it's Trey Noir from now on. We're definitely gonna go first. So we're probably, by looking at the sleeves in the deck, it looks like we're versing Ultra Necrozma. Ooh, look at those Inkes, aren't they shiny? All right, so we're gonna put both of them down because I'm excited. Oh, we got, we got, a, good, we got a good start, guys. Viridian Forest, get those energy down. He, he's gonna love it too, so. Let's do exactly that. Let's get rid of this energy into the discard pile. All right, here we go. We got giant bombs, we got Titanizers. Look, you know what? We're gonna use a mysterious treasure and get rid of that one too. All right, so what else can help us a lot? Dusk Noir, we're gonna need him. He's our premium player in this matchup. Okay, so let's go for the Cynthia. All right, what can we get? Please show me the money. Oh, that's nice. 
Okay. Can we get... <sighs> okay, we got a switch. We can use that right now. Switch you out, buddy. And get... Oh, that sweet escape board, guys. You see that? Alright, what can we get? We're gonna need a Cynthia for next turn. That's a definite. Because look at this hand. Isn't that poor? Wish we could have attached an energy. That is a shame. I did discard two. We do have two Inkes on the field, so potentially next turn we can attack with Trevenant and Dusknoir. So, Trey Noir, that is. Trey Noir. Hapu. It's a very similar style deck. I wonder if it is Ultra Necrozma. I did see Steel Typing, so it can be Jir just Jirachi. Yeah, come on. It's definitely going to be Ultra Necrozma, right? Alright, we'll, we'll see what goes. Possibly another Inke. Possibly the main attacker. Ooh, that's a nice Psychic Energy. Definitely Viridian Forest. He's not going to get rid of it, because it's something that he needs as well. He's already got three, though. So he might try to stop me. So Mew, Bench, are we... We're not really going to do the bench damage. Alright, here we go with... Oh, is he going to take him out to the front? Oh, he discarded his own Viridian Forest. He's like, guys, we're all going to use Viridian Forest. It's good for everyone. So let's see who can use it better. Here we go with the side power. The aggression. He's going to try to take out our Inkes. Or everyone. Ooh. Okay, it doesn't look like he's super set up either. Ladios GX. Just wondering if... A shrine will come down because he might possibly just be Giratina and Malamar. Or Jesse and James also s sounds pretty good because he's got no hand. Alright, let's just see what we get with Stellar Wish first. Okay, that's that's very good. What a weird... That's a bit bugged, right? Okay, we'll take it. Alright, we don't need Power Plant. I'm just going to get rid of that and get our Malamar. Our promo Malamar. Doesn't that look good? Wish it was shiny one, but oof, they're expensive to get. Okay, here we go. First energy of the day. I do really want a Jesse and James. I feel like that's just uh, not the right move at the moment. Because then, what, what can we do after that? So, look, I want to do a manual attachment as well. I might get rid of Ladios. Because I have a feeling that Girafrig might actually come in handy if there are those what are they what are, giratinas that's right giratina okay here we go you know what i'm gonna put him on the bench just in case i really wanted to jesse and james but i don't want to slow it slow us down either so here we go poker comms please get a pokemon yes all right we can poker comms and get that malamar oh he's just lost his hand anyway guys it was worth the decision was worth Yes, he knows. He knows. And that is game one, guys, of Trey Noir. All right, on to the next round. All right, so that was a nice and quick game. Good decision on not using the uh, Jesse and James because we're going to end up with the same effect. And he didn't like how set up we were, so that was great. Can we do it again, though? Let's see how consistent this deck is. We've got the Unbroken Bonds, Deck Box, and Sleeves. Doesn't mean much because I got the Charizard with sleeves, so and a Dragonite coin. But you never know what it could be. All right, so Beast Rings, oh, Buzzmosa, Buzzmosa. Oof. Okay. All right. Don't know how it's gonna go. We'll see. All right, but we got Jirachi to start, which is very clean. Hopefully, we can get a draw supporter because Jesse and James not too good. We can discard our Psychic Energies though and get ourselves ready. Uh, we'll see what we can Stella wish. Buzzmosa. Oi, Buzzmosa. Okay. As, as as long as he doesn't like knock us out on the third turn. We do have a chance. Oh, this is so consistent. It's great. Ooh, I'm feeling it. We got to get basic Pokemon on the bench ASAP. ASAP. All right. Give us the money. Oh, a skateboard. Okay. Green's exploration. The consistency in this deck. Do we stand a chance? Obviously, we're going to need to knock out two unless he goes to three prize cards, but he'll only aim to get us down to four, which is just one more. Oof, can he do the whole combo now? There he is, Mistrevis. 
It's like going to the cinemas, guys. <laughs> Watch this. And that was all in turn one. Okay. Alright, give me Heart of the Cards. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Maybe that will win us the game. Okay. I was like, ooh, Heart of the Cards, what could that be? You know? Oh my god, this is so scary. We gotta hurry up. Okay. 190 punch. Okay, hmm. I'm a bit worried. Only slightly. What can we find? Okay, what else have we got here? We've got uh, Cynthia. Yeah, sounds good. Poker comms. No, we need... Goodness me. Pokecoms is more guaranteed. Well, we got Mysterious Treasure as well. Alright, we'll take the Viridian Forest. We'll take it. Okay, let's discard... You know what? Reset stamp could be really good to keep. Everything would be good to keep. You know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna get rid of Jesse and James. Oh, the pain. Okay. Inkay down now. Oh my god. I almost did it. I almost did the wrong thing. All right, Inke, you you do your thing. Oh my god, we got to get this guy set up as soon as possible. I don't. We're not gonna survive the next one, but we. M okay. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna do it. We're gonna get rid of the psychic energy. Okay. I'm gonna leave the escape board. Can't, do you think, guys, do you think he's going to have custom catches? Is it worth just to keep this? Alright, we're just going to keep it. Don't ruin my hand with a reset stamp. Guys, I'm getting a bit nervous here. But it's fun. It's fun to verse decks like this because you never know what's going to happen. How many does he need? He needs an extra seven, so he needs eight altogether. And then he can take three more prize cards. But if we can get this Latios running with Tag Purge, oh, I don't know if he can deal with it. But we need benched Pokemon ASAP, like a lot of them. Okay, there's a Cynthia. Pokenav. I'm not too sure about the complete deck list here. Pretty sure there'll be custom catches, right? Would only make sense. Hopefully we can get a power plant as well to help us out so that we can start attacking with Tag Purge next turn. Okay, good. Alright, we, we're happy with that. Are we happy with that? Goodness. We need a switch. So this guy is a free retreat, but we need to attach to him first. We need so many Pokemon on the bench. Alright, look. Let's do this. It's just one turn. He His uh, base damage goes to 60. Okay. So possibly this guy will knock us out. Because we're on four prize cards. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's do this. What can we get? Just in case I have to retreat to you, buddy. I think we're going to do it. How many? Okay. Ooh, it's on, it's on. Two, four, six. He's got six. Oh my god, I'm just going to reset stamp him now. All right. We did manually attach just then, so it won't matter. It won't matter if we put the retreat board on him now. He'll knock us out. He'll knock us out only if he does a switch. Wait a second. But what if I get Jirachi? Oh, you know what? I'm keeping the escape board. I've decided. All right. Can we get a switch? Guys, can we get a switch? We got a skateboard. Okay, a skateboard something. We could search for a switch with Jirachi. Let's do this, guys, now or never. Now or never, now or never. All right, here we go. So, Psychic Energy onto Latios GX. We've got the power plant, which he doesn't know. We've got the skateboard, which doesn't really matter at the moment. All right, here we go, switch. Switch! Oh no, oh no. Okay. We could, we still could get Switch from this. Come on, Acrobike. 
do legends. Here we go, here we go. Oh. Unbelievable, guys, unbelievable. Couldn't get it, couldn't get it. Alright, so we're going to discard. I do want to get the ink set up on the field. Another ink could help us. I'm very nervous. Hapu is a must to keep. Power plant is very useful. That's gonna let us attack next turn. Let's let's discard the Viridian Forest. Alright. Please tell me I didn't make a mistake. Here we go. So we're gonna look for another Inke. And we're gonna end. We're just gonna end there. We need everything in our hand. Okay, that was a long turn. But I had to think. You know, this is a stressful game. He could win in one turn. He takes an extra free prize card, so if he knocks out our... Ooh, see? Alright. So he's gonna do a switcheroni. Oh, please don't tell me that's two custom catches. Do us all a favor. I guys, oh, we were gonna start tag purging. Maybe that's why. I'm not sure why he surrendered then, but I'll take it. Because that's ten gold. That's ten gold. <laughs> okay, all right, on to the next game. All right, here we go. So we're against. Whoa, look at those colors. Psychic dark grass. You know what? I'm calling it. Psychic dark grass normal. Dark spirit tomb. Psychic jinx and green build bee drill, and psychic shed injure. All right, I think that's that's a terrible probably guess, but. Spirit Tomb with Shedinger's, Beedrills, and Jinxes. <laughs> that's gonna be my call, okay? And if that's the case, that's gonna be hard for us. We're gonna start putting Malama. Ooh, that's nice. This is not a bad start, guys. We're gonna go for Espion and Deoxys. What is it called? Cross GX? Fully pimped out move. 200 damage spread across the board. If that's the case, because then we might win in one turn. Paris. Alright, throw everything I said out the window. <laughs> <laughs> All that guessing. Alright. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Because I had the Malamine hand. Oh well. Alright. Ooh, Trey Noir, we already got one of you. Might be enough. Okay. Yep. Okay, I am happy with that. I don't think we need to put down this Latios GX. So weird. If it's Paris, obviously it's Parasect that does the the spores that damage you when you're confused. Looking at who can do that. Okay, probably Ultra Beast deck. Let's go. That was our first turn. We did take a while to do it, but thinking about it, I think he's got Ultra Beast that might confuse. Is that a case? Like Nil Galeo? Electro Power. Electro power, okay, Zerka tree. Yeah, so there's the. It's a confusion deck. We have quite a few switches and things that we can do. Oh, that is so sad. Whoa, because of electric power, we lost that guy. Okay, we might we might be able to just pale moon this guy, but he's gonna retreat as well. Look, a skateboard's gonna be the way. Let's do that. Another Dusknoir. You know what? We're just gonna retreat him after. We'll see what we can actually pick up from this Cynthia. Mm, that's good. Okay. So I do feel like I want to switch into Jirachi, but look at this damage here. Dazzle Blast. So he does 50 damage. Will we lose our Jirachi? There's a good chance. Let's do it anyway. Stella Wish. Okay. We have at least a chance to evolve one of these uh, Inke. Almost. Almost. But that does help us. Okay. We're happy with that. Let's do a manual attachment. We could end up getting this guy very, very low. On cards, that is. We'll see how it goes. We're not too sad to lose the Jirachi, but I think because of Viridian Forest, if that stays in play, I'm definitely going to leave 
That's not in the active. But I'm going to need Tate and Liza to switch out and then attack again. I think we're okay. Because if we just uh, grab the energy with Trevenant and Dusknor, use Night Watch, he confuses us. We Tate and Liza to Lydius and Lydius, free retreat back. We can attack again and knock out pretty much anything in this deck. He confuses us again. We've got another Tate and Liza. Yeah, we can just use them as retreats, as switches. I was actually thinking about putting mixed herbs in this deck just for status condition decks, like not even for the heal. So it was Nil Galeo. That was my, one of my Ultra Beast guesses, but. So it was an Ultra Beast deck. That was the second guess. <laughs> Alright. But what is he gonna grab? Maybe another Paris? Because I, I guess that's why you build these decks, because you just want to see Panic Spores do so much damage. Zerka Tree. Okay, I was wrong. Just another attacker. That's going to be his last Beast Energy though, so he's not going to be doing too much damage. He won't be able to KO us, so... Uh, wait a second, yeah he will. It's going to do 70 damage. With the Panic Spores. So Jirachi will be lost. But, our plan still continues. It was just so funny to see that um, Electro Power. I was like, what? Electro Power? And knocks out. Who did it knock out? An Inke, yeah that's right. Okay, Nightwatch could ruin this guy. Yeah, look, is he gonna spend any more cards? If he doesn't, he's gonna lose him. Alright, definitely gone. Alright, see you later, Jirachi, you did well. Alright, here we go. Just thinking about actually pulling out, instead of pulling out uh, Malamars, we take out the Deoxys. No, that doesn't make sense, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, we need an energy, what have I done? Okay, so, now that I did pull them out, I guess we will take the Malamar. This is not good. Either I use Tate and Liza as a switch. You know what? I'm just going to shuffle the hand. I should have kept the other cards just so that I can discard one of them with Viridian Forest and have switches. All right, we're gonna ear ringing bell. Now we don't have any switches, which is a bit of a problem. Manual attachment. Wait a second, we'll get rid of that. How many energies do we have in this card? We have three. If we can get another Ma Malamar, that'll be good. All right, we'll, we'll start getting this ready on actually Ladios GX. Because that's, that's enough to knock out anything in his deck. All right, here we go. Oof. Okay, so he's got something useful in his deck. Oh, sorry, in his hand. Most likely. I, I, maybe he's got another energy card, but he will pick one up anyway. So let's see how his luck goes. He's definitely going to try to confuse us, but at least we can... I don't think we'll try retreat straight away. But with, with the skateboard and an extra Malamar, we'll be able to attack again anyway. We can jump between Latios GX and Trevenant and Dasnor. Should be okay. Just to keep using Nightwatch is just going to be really beneficial for us. U-turn board. Alright. This is very slow damage, so we, we are okay with this. Okay. So let's see what we can acrobike. Ooh, Cynthia, what's in our hand? Ooh, do we need the Cynthia though? Can we get a Malamar? Can we guarantee that we'll be able to get another Malamar? Because that would be very easy for us. We can just keep swapping. You know what? We can discard the, that one. Let's just be more certain. Yeah, and get rid of our hand, pretty much. Oh! Okay. Mistake number one. Let's take this guy, Malamar. That's pretty good. Okay, so 
We're gonna attach the board to Jirachi. I shouldn't have attached that board there, but maybe that will help us too. I'm not gonna manually retreat to him. Okay, here we go. Okay, yep, we're gonna retreat. It would have been good if we had the board on him because we could have just kept doing the, the circle around, but that's okay. We'll go with Tag Purge. At least we continue the race. So, so far we're equal. Oh, Hapu was great. So hopefully we get some kind of switches going on or just another Malamar. We get one more Malamar, we can keep doing this rotation. Definitely. Ooh, Koga's Trap. I think he's run out of steam. Ear ringing bell, okay. Yeah, that makes sense as well. Okay, so this bomb is useless. Hapu. Well, we definitely want that. That's going to help us for the rest of the game. And here we go. We might take... All of this is going to go. I don't think we need anything else on the board. Let's just take... Doesn't make sense. We'll take this. All right. Here we go. So I think we're pretty much set up now. Free retreats. Nice. We've got enough energies. Here we go. Three. Yeah, pretty much we got this in the, in the bag, guys. This is going to be a little bit of a slow victory. But I can't see him suddenly KOing us with all this confusion. We've got all the Mal Malamars ready for retreating. The Dusknor, Train Noir. Okay, here we go. So, just retreat. Nightwatch. Doesn't really matter, does it? All good. All right. Getting there, getting there. You can only use this attack if your opponent has exactly two prize cards remaining. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. So that's incoming. And it's any Pokemon, right? Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon's attacks. It's not active, so he can definitely use that against us. He has to get more benched Pokemon though to keep doing those switches. And then when, once the Parasect goes, yeah, he's in a bit of a struggle. Okay, yeah, he's gonna give it up because he's gonna use it next turn. Makes sense, makes sense. Giant bomb. How much health? Oh, that would have been good. Giant Bomb could have taken him out, but we're 10 damage short. Because I'm assuming he's going to hit us for weakness on our Latios. So here we go. Okay. So, we'll attach. Definitely nice and clean at this point. Yep, okay, we'll just use Tag Purge. And that Nilgaleo won't be any more of a problem after next turn, so... We will lose Latios GX, we won't be able to keep doing the switch like we've been doing till now. Which will be a shame, but he's got nothing on the board. Maybe he will now. Definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. This guy is very cool. I think Garchomp takes place number one, though. Garchomp's very cool. And Latios Jack second. But you know, after this card, I'm starting to like Dusknor a lot. Sorry, Trevor, but yeah. Alright, ooh, Shrine of Punishment. That's not good. Okay, so he can use the attack. He'll definitely get our Latios, but he needs to have a benched Pokemon, otherwise, he's lost. Yeah, definitely. What does Mind Shock do? Okay. So he'll discard from our hand randomly for sure. I mean, shuffle it back into the deck. It makes sense to use that. Anyway, he'll hit us. 
Even if he didn't hit us for weakness, we'd be KO'd. Ooh, Tag Purge. That was very well played. We'll just use Psychic Spear. Because he's... Yeah, he gets hit for weakness. Alright, Jirachi here. And that's game, guys. Tag Purge was very well played, though. I like I like that move. Alright, here we go. Here, here's the kicker, guys. When Malamar attaches to himself. <laughs> Eh? Well played. That was good. So we'll just switch. Retreat. Oh, yeah, you too. Uh, oh, I couldn't get it out in time, but you you too. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. On to the next game. All right, guys. Let us prove ourselves against Dragon Psychic me Metal Typing. Definitely Ultra Necrozma. Definitely? Maybe not, but what else could it be? So another Malamar matchup. It's going to be interesting. Let's see who can set up first. If we can continuously discard his hand before he sets up, we have a good chance. But if he sets up, oh well. It's the end. Oh, we're bricked. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're hoping that Acrobikes will get us something beautiful. Maybe like a Cynthia? That'd be nice. Even a Jirachi? Okay, yep, yeah, there's the Malamar. Alright, yes, we always like free cards. Hapu! We got something, that's good. Alright, Acrobike. We'll take the Mysterious Treasure. And we'll do another Acrobike, because it's so wonderful. Inkay! Okay, so not a bad start. I think we will take Viridian Forest. We will discard the energy. Take the energy. We don't want to discard too many energies. We're going to attach that right now. Hmm. Discard what he said. Let's just use Happer for now. Okay. Tatanlyzer is good to keep for next turn. Let's keep the Tatanlyzer. And Espeon Deoxys. Definitely that might come in handy, but this Mew needs to go. That's a, that's a definite. Okay, so... If we get rid of Reset Stamp, we can get another Inke quickly. Yeah, Tate and Liza next turn. It all sounds wonderful to me. Alright, that was an okay, okay turn one. Not that bad. So we might be able to get he, his Malamars quickly. Mm, Hapu discarded how many energies? So we got three already there. Potentially our Deoxys, we can use the fully buffed cross division GX move and take out two Malamars. That would be the goal. I'm pretty sure that Mew can't stop the placement of damage counters. Prevent all damage done by your opponent's attacks. And this just places counters, so that shouldn't work. And we'll take him out along the way too. Wait, so Malamar's 90, 90, 180, we'll only have 20 damage counters after that, so we might not do that. Okay, not bad. He needs to retreat. Definitely he can get an energy with Viridian Forest and then start placing everything. Ooh. That, that is not good. I'm not sure if we have anything in our deck besides another Latios GX that can handle him. Unless we use all our cross division points here and now. Cynthia, that's nice. Okay, so he's going to invest into the Tag Purge. Which is not bad. Not bad start. Hmm, now I'm thinking, should we just invest into Espeon and Deoxys and just go for the full cross division move on him? But in case, in case are definitely worth... Okay, we'll see how this plays out. It's going to be an interesting game for sure, because this is going to hurt us, and he's starting off with it. He should have Ultra Necrozma there as well. We saw a Dragon typing. I don't know if there's a one-off that would really help him. Besides that, I think it's going to be his main attacker. This is usually just a tech, just like we have it. And it's a good tech. Definitely have to play around it. Pale Moon GX just won't work on him at all with a free retreat as well. Look at that smug grin. Okay, here we go. Switch. Jirachi. What are you going to look for? I reckon Mysterious Treasure. Oh, called it. 
called it. Oh, there we go. Now, will it be a Malamar or another Inke? Another Inke, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so he's almost set up. How many energies you got there? Two. We got three. But definitely that means if he's got... If we don't discard these cards, which will be the case, most likely. Goodness me, we might be up for some trouble. Alright. Power Plant's only going to help him. Yeah, Power Plant is not what we need this game. So let's just go with Energy Placement. I would really, really like to attack with Nightwatch like, very quickly, but I'm... Ooh, I'm hesitant. Alright, let's just do it. We'll put it there. Manual Placement, Titan Lyza. Yeah, we're not going to use the Escape Board. That was not good. And we're not going to use Pale Moon GX because we got to save the move. Okay, we might as well start attaching to this Espion Deoxys. This will save us eventually, but yes, it will be very slow. Okay. Oof, Nightwatch. Nightwatch, I'm waiting for you. Alright, hopefully he doesn't... We had to take out this Jirachi. This is really a problem now. If he gets those two Malamars up, he can come out and start giving us trouble. There you go, Erica's Hospitality. Probably got everything he needed. Oof, isn't that nice? I wish we had the Malamars too. Does he have a second one? Yeah. Even with Viridian Forest, he can start using Tag Purge. So he will be able to... No, it's three hit. Okay, so he'll have to three hit us. So that's not bad. That gives us time. We can still discard his hand as well. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of those Malamars. There we go. Tag Purge. Oh, cross division. Nice. He stopped our move from getting rid of his Malamars. That was right. That was really well played, actually. Okay. I don't want to put another Inke down. I think that's a bit much. Okay, but we can use Nightwatch. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of the NK. So no more cross division, which is sad. No pale moon, which is also sad. So the next investment. This is really going to be an issue. We need to actually find our own. Oh, he's gonna. We, we can't. We can't use even Jirachi. We're gonna have to leave the space open and place our own Ladios there. How much energies do we have in the discard pile? We have two. With a manual attachment, we'll be okay. So we're not going to use it. We're not going to use it at all. We're not going to use anything. We'll just go with Nightwatch. Guys, why did that take so, so long to think that he has a psychic weakness? Oh my god. Okay, for some reason I thought, hey, we're gonna need 20 damage to kill him. Alright, that was good though. Because that gets rid of a massive problem for us. Oh, there it is. Oh, sorry. The massive problem still exists. <laughs> but we do have power plant, and we chucked it away because we were like, he's not going to be using that. Oh, goodness. We do have another power plant, though. We will be able to find that. And he has psychic weakness, so we can knock him out, too. Okay, so we have bills. We'll use bills first. We'll use bills first, then we might use Jirachi, and we look for that power plant. Hopefully it's not prized. We knock him out next turn. It's gonna be GG. He's gonna give up. It's all up to this Bills and Jirachi. We can do it. Come on. <gasps> Excuse me. Hopefully not. Okay, we can do this. 
that guy is going down. Oh my god, I can't believe that I chucked out a power plant. This guy was like, yes. I'm very happy with that. Oh my god, he's going to tag purge. And he got a custom catch in his hand now. Oh my god, what are you what are you doing? Yeah, tag purge. Now I got a question. He's now protected. Even though we put the power plant down. My goodness, we're gonna we're gonna have to do this. Alright, here we go. There's one Jirachi for us. Tag purge is really crazy. Oh my god, Bills, why you do this to me? Okay. We're gonna take Justin James. Okay, here we go. So we got two switches, we got two Jirachis. Tag purge might be the way to go. Oh my god. I don't wanna put too much space here, but it looks like we're gonna have to do it. We're gonna switch to this Jirachi and hopefully that will be enough. Stella Wish, that was weird. Okay, power plant. No, why you do this? Acrobike. Okay, we're hunting for the power plant. We're hunting for the power plant. We can do this. Power plant. Oh, giant bomb. Not enough. Oh, goodness me. We'll take the giant bomb. Okay, we still got another shot, but now we have to use up a slot, which is really sad. Okay, so we switch to you. Alright, here we go. We're looking for you, power plant. Yes! Okay, we got it. Alright, we're gonna attach this to no one. God. Where do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Okay, we need everything in our hand. We need everything there. So we're gonna retreat. To Trey Noir. Power plant, which is not gonna do any damage, I believe. It's not gonna do any damage. Yeah. Oh, goodness me. Alright, this man right now needs to not have something to cancel out this power plant, because otherwise... Otherwise, we have to let this uh, Trevenant die, or something die. We have to retreat, and then uh, pump out that Latios GX. That's right. And then he'll need his alternate attacker, which is going to be Ultra Necrozma. Okay. Which is right there. Okay, so what is he looking for? The Dene? No, that wasn't in the his deck, was it? No, but Power Plant's up on the field. So that would be a mistake as well. I guess he's just looking at what's left in his deck. That's cheating, man. Can't do that. How long has this taken? NK. Okay. Alright, we're competitive now, guys. We wanna we wanna win. Alright, so he looks like yeah, he's retreating. No, don't find the power plant. Reset stamp. I need this hand. Okay, we're still okay. Ooh, that's good. Alright. He needs to not find something great. <laughs> did did he, he use the supporter? No, he didn't. No. Okay. Alright, we're, we're a bit hyped this game. He has to have like a switch and oh my god if he actually got a switch as well as a stadium card right now that's gonna be very sad days for us because i discarded the other power plant okay hopefully night watch removes that yeah that would be great okay we need this Ladio, so we're gonna wait until it gets knocked out to use it. Looks like the way to go. Alright, let's go. Please get rid of stadiums. Get rid of them. No! Okay. Alright, we'll see. Because uh, that was great by him. That was very good. So, yeah, he pulled them out. Alright, I'm a bit worried. Tag Purge. Tag Purge will take three hits to kill us. So we're gonna retreat. Oh no, that's not good. His weakness is also dark, and this does only 120 damage. 
We need to find a switch, but we, we've used a lot of switches, I believe, too. We have only one more left. Acrobike, no. No stadiums. No, the, the pressure, the pressure. We can knock him out, guys. Oh, goodness. Is he going to retreat again? He might retreat again. Oh, it's it's like over. Tag purge. Okay. That was annoying. Let's see. So we're going to have to switch out. So we'll use Titan Lies at the switch. Espion Deoxys. We don't have our move. We got rid of our other power plant, which is really a shame. So... What are our options? We'll also look at what's in there. Another Dusk Noir. Hmm. But we won't give up. We're gonna get rid of our Jirachi. Okay, Stellar Wish. Okay, let's see what we get. This is good. This I will take. No, nope, we are basically giving up our... We can attach two. Oh, wait, what are we going to get rid of? I'll get rid of Pokecoms. Yep, we'll get the final one. So that means that our Latios will be able to attack next turn. Okay. Yep, that's what we're going to do. So if I were in the lead, if we can take out that Mew and Mewtwo, he will bounce between them though. And he doesn't have a GX move. He's pretty much set up, like he needs bench space as well. Giratina is going to be attacking afterwards. So it's good that we had Tate and Liza for the switch as well. So Tag Purge is up. He doesn't expect that we have Latios and Latios GX, but we're not going to be able to one hit him. But at least we can put on that pressure. So here goes Jirachi. Alright, here we go. We also have Tag Purge, friend. Alright. But remember, his Ultra Necrozma can just come out of nowhere and end us. So we'll see what goes on there. So... Giratina will, will kill us next turn. Alright, let's think about this. So I pulled this out. He won't be able to kill us. He'll almost be dead. Giratina will come out and knock us out. Then we'll take out Dusknoir, knock the Giratina out, but then Mew will be out the whole time because of all the Malamars, it might be really over for us. Let's see. Tag push too strong. We have Girafrig in the deck. We actually have Girafrig in the deck. Where is this Girafrig? Why didn't I realize this sooner? Is it in our prize cards? I didn't take anything. <laughs> okay, we'll accept that. Okay. Hmm. It's very sad that we couldn't knock him out though, and if we had spell tag that would have been great. Because that would equal a victory. He will be able to tag purge. Maybe we can take Giratina from the prize cards. It's a possibility. There he goes. He's setting up his next attacker. No, okay. Goodness. Now I regret fully like pumping out that uh, power plant and discarding it in the early game. Definitely necessary in this deck. I shouldn't have played it. I should have played it when I could have guaranteed knocked him out. That was really my my bad. Okay, so he's ready. And he will knock out. Yeah, this is this was what was gonna happen. We don't have two Latias GX either. So we're pretty much gonna have to risk it next turn. And attack with Dusknor. And hopefully pull our Girafrig out. 
So he gets two prize cards. Okay, here we go. I guess we'll have a look at what else we can find. Well, definitely we can leave him handless. That's a thing. Yeah, okay. His weakness is psychic, so we can't put him out. Maybe we can, actually. We can bounce between those two. I'm just wondering, if he pulls out, he can end our game. Weakness to Giratina. Okay, so we're actually going to fight with Dusknor. But why did I attach? Okay. Oof. This game, very, very, very difficult. Tate and Liza won't get us anything. We're going to have to pull out our fully pimped out Dusknor. Okay, here we go. Please get us a Girafrig. Is that even gonna live? Okay, beast energy. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh my goodness. We have a chance to win. Oh my god. What are you looking at there? Okay. We like actually have a chance to win? <laughs> Why were you prized, Girafrig? Okay. Girafrig? What's his name? Okay. Still, I think by the time we switch in and out and all that, I think he's got us. Wait. Okay, let's see. So the giraffe is here. The giraffe is here. All right, psychic recharge. He can get lost. Okay, so we're gonna swap. Actually, we can just Malamar back to him, isn't it? That's the case. We'll just retreat. How many energies do we have in this card pile? Two. All right, we're just gonna manually retreat. They both need two. Okay. We're gonna pull out Espion and Deoxys. Alright, we're gonna do that. We're gonna manually attach either way. Alright, we, we, we're, going, we're going ham here. What are we gonna discard? <sighs> okay, so that's a switch. That's, that, that's a good discard. And we'll discard a Malma. Alright, I'm feeling like we have a potential here to win. So we're going to take out... Should I play Matt? This guy. I think everything else is okay. Let's just remove that guy. You never know when that's going to happen. Alright. The only thing is that his manual retreat could really put us in a pickle. We'll see how this goes. Because he'll definitely knock us out, but he'll probably be with Giratina. Oh, custom catch, that's a good one. I think uh, we picked up Girafrig one turn too short. So a very stressful game. <laughs> a very stressful game. Yeah, there's the manual retreat. And then he'll put those back on so that he can KO whatever's next. Okay, so this is how it's going to go. He'll knock out the Girafrig. He'll take his almost last prize card. Oh my lord. Guys. <laughs> that Mew. Oh my god. Psy power too strong. Alright, that was well played. That was a, definitely a fun game. It put, put me on the edge. I couldn't even give him the well played in time. But good job. Alright, that was a good game. That was a good game. Guys, don't throw out your power plants.
Yeah. All right, guys. Now, that last game, I really do wish that I didn't throw out that power plant. That was... I don't know why, but I imagined that there wasn't going to be any GX Pokemon for some reason. And obviously, Mali is a big deal there. So, with the Mew 3. But also, our Girafrig or Girafrig, or however you pronounce it. Please let me know in the comments below how do you pronounce this guy's name, but he was prized and we picked him up at the end, but we didn't have enough time. So we made a mistake by throwing away the power plant. And we also made a mistake when we had power plant in our hand and we used that even though tag purge was still active, I wasn't really sure how that goes. If we can get rid of a buff effect from, you know, his ability, but that, that that's not the count, uh, case. Power plant still works. So keep it until you can literally one hit him. Cause if he doesn't have tag purge active, which I thought we couldn't get rid of, honestly. I was just hoping to get him to a point that he couldn't, but he had too many Mallys on the bench, so he just kept rotating with that that annoying, what's it called? Brrr, Giratina, that's the one. Okay, so but that was a really fun game. I really did enjoy it. It was quite, it, it got me tense. So guys, keep your power plants well because you do one hit Mew 3s with this, and that's very popular. You can get Keldeos with power plant. Just make sure you keep that safe. And he did really well because he ended up using his GX move so that I couldn't use Cross Division, which was a big deal with uh, his GX move from Latios GX, which is great, great, great move, Clear Vision. Guys, if you enjoyed the game, all this, sorry, if you enjoyed the videos, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, leave suggestions for videos that you would like to see in the future. Overall, I'd give this deck, uh, for damage, maybe like a four out of five, because sometimes you can't one hit things. And I'd say for consistency, quite consistent. Maybe I'll give a four out of five again. It, it, I don't really brick often because everything that you have in the deck just gives you potential to find everything else. So that's it for today, guys. Poker Cheese out.